a luck 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 is about to spin the block 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 you got luck is on your side if you've been thinking about doing something or going after something or just whatever luck is on your side like i feel like you're about to enter the luckiest season of your life let's get some more messages like i said the first card that came out is luck is on your side let's get some more cards i'm gonna go ahead and pull some more for me i need kira <clears throat> Lucky season. What is it? Lucky girl syndrome? Okay. Shouts out to y'all. Okay, let's get into the rest of the... Oh, that card wants to come out. The choice is yours. Yes, like you have an option to choose some... Bro, okay. Not too much. Not too much. Okay. Don't be so hard on yourself. The choice is yours and luck is on your side. I feel like y'all are making it harder than what it needs to be to make a decision in your life right now. And let's see what's at the bottom. Oh, we got abundance is on the way. Abundance is on the way. Stop being scared. Stop being a... <laughs> Stop being scared. I almost said something, but I ain't gonna say it because, you know, I don't know how people would take it. Okay, um, stop being scared, okay? Stop being afraid to make decisions. We got happiness. Happiness is just, it, you, listen, <laughs> I don't believe in coincidences. Everything happens for a reason. And as soon as I said happiness, like my daughter's literally like bawling, laughing in the other room. Happiness, happiness, okay? I don't even know if y'all heard that. We have inspiration. We got money magic. Some of y'all could be getting ready to touch some money. Um, so I'm talking about money that you didn't even realize you were going to be able to touch type of money. We got connections. Some of y'all could be making more connections with different people, people that are more inspirational, people that are meant to get you on the right path that you're meant to be on. Surrounding yourself with people that are, you're meant to be around. Um, just stepping into your most abundant timeline. Oh, we got self-love. We got self-love. Let's get some more cards out here for y'all. How can we collect this? What are some signs this collector can use? We got September. It is September right now. Like I said, you need to oh oh, you need to make this decision. We got January. So between now, between September and January, those months could also be significant for you, like birthday months, you know, anniversaries, whatever the case. We got first house, your appearance, yourself, your confidence, your um impre first impressions, um physical body we also have the card of inspiration that's coming out with the first house i feel like some of y'all are probably going to be inspirations for other people maybe being in the spotlight um maybe the being who you are um just be more free and loving yourself with the self-love card being who you are is what's going to draw more people to you um like with the money magic is like people are going to think you're doing some type of magic when it comes to like the money or abundance that you're coming into we have forgiveness What is this forgiveness about? Let's see. Let's get some tarot in here. What is this forgiveness about? And who is it for? What is this forgiveness about? And who is it for? Let's see. We got the three of wands. I feel like you need to forgive people who you felt like left you out in the cold, people who didn't show up when you needed them to show up. We got the five of cups. This is always crying over spilled milk. Like this is literally saying like the people that you thought left you out in the cold, whether they did it on purpose intentionally or not, let that shit go because you got better shit coming to you. Sorry for my language, but you literally got better stuff coming to you. You're crying over shit that doesn't even matter at this point. I'm just being honest. Like, it does not matter. I get that some people hurt you and stuff. We got the Empress. The Empress would not be sitting there crying over like that, honey. I promise you. Um, just step into your more, like, 
feminine like energy let things come to you um don't be afraid to make decisions i know decisions is decisions more masculine decisions i feel like are more masculine to me um but i feel like you got three three um the three of wands and the empress is also a three threes can be very significant to you threes and fives um I feel like just letting go and not holding on to things that you don't know why the people that you felt like left you out in the cold left you there um, and, you know, didn't show up when they needed to show up. They could have been going through their own thing, too. There's this thing called life and we all go through our own shit. And sometimes you can't show up the way you want to for people. And sometimes you don't always communicate that with the people that you are around or the people that you're dealing with. So just, you know, learn to like let go and forgive people and, you know, try to have a better understanding on why somebody didn't show up the way that they could have. You know what I mean? Oh, we got mascara awakening. This, I feel like this is you awakening to the truth of what is, you know, what is the truth, what is right, what is wrong. Um, you know, there's always what they say, three, literally threes, three sides to a story, your side, their side, and the truth. And even though you may not see their point of view, there's always that middle ground where it's like, okay, these things did happen from your point of view, but from their point of view, they happened this way. But in that middle ground, both of you were right or both of you were wrong. You know what I mean? So just don't always judge based on how you see something from your side of your point of view we also got tweezers detachment this is just literally detaching yourself from anything or and everything that's not serving you at this moment um step into your most abundant timeline by letting go of things that are no longer serving you things that didn't do not matter and things that are holding you back most importantly that is the message i have for you i hope it did resonate with you let me know in the comments how it resonated with you and i will catch you back for another one